What if I told you that changing just one habit at a time can completely change your life? I used to think I was destined to live off of caffeine and takeout foods, but I realized that it's more about habits and commitment than anything else. Today I wanted to take you through my own fitness transformation, where I started, the ups and downs along the way, and how I went from feeling completely stuck in unhealthy habits to finally finding freedom and real change. Look, I wasn't always this fitness guy that you see today. Back then, if you had looked at my diet and my habits, you'd have seen a lot of processed foods, sugary energy drinks, and convenience meals. A typical day might start with some heavy sugared up coffee. Lunch might be something I microwave from a frozen package. And dinners usually involved takeout or bar food, especially on the weekends. Late night snacks were pretty common too, especially when stress would kick in. I used to live in Texas, so the culture there, drinking beer and eating fast food seemed pretty normal at the time. But honestly, I was just on autopilot. I felt drained, my digestive system was a mess, and my energy was all over the place. Then came the constant anxiety. I started to feel so off that I actually was starting to end up in the ER, convinced that something was seriously wrong. Those panic attacks that I had at, while at work were pretty intense, and it's tough to describe the cycle I felt trapped in. I didn't realize how much these habits were taking a toll on me, physically and mentally. And then one day, my world shook when my dad called me and he told me that he was just diagnosed with brain cancer. Watching him go through that, it made me think hard about my own path and what I was doing to my own body. I knew that if I didn't make changes, my health could go in the same direction. It was a harsh wake up call, but it was exactly what I needed. I actually took a look around at my family. I realized that every one of them had some serious condition that was affecting their health. Whether it was obesity, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes, I knew I didn't want the same outcome. All I know is I needed to make some big changes. And if you've ever tried to turn your health around, you know it's no small task. I got committed to getting educated about fitness and nutrition and became certified as a personal trainer. I also took a course in basic nutrition, not just for myself, but to desperately try my best to help my dad. I shared so many success articles with him about how people made dietary changes to naturally cure stage four cancer. I remember being so hopeful. I still remember the emptiness that came over me that morning. I got that phone call and I was told that he didn't make it through the night. I was totally crushed by that. It was a major eye opener for me, but I had to move forward in the best way that I could. I started small, one habit at a time. My first goal, totally kicked the energy drinks. Those things were keeping me on edge constantly, so I just quit them, cold turkey. Next, I began cutting out processed foods, the chips, the sugary snacks, the microwave meals. I quit smoking cigarettes. I began focusing on real whole foods. At first it was tough. I felt like I was trying to learn a new language, but I took it slow. I learned to meal prep, cook from scratch, and started figuring out what worked out for my body. Not everyone in life, not everyone in my life understood what I was doing. I got a lot of questions, and honestly, some people thought I was taking it a bit too far. Why was I avoiding certain foods? Why was I not grabbing drinks as much anymore? But I knew I was on my own mission. So I stayed the course. Slowly, I started seeing improvements. I was more energized, my mood was steadier, and my anxiety, it was finally starting to fade. I had to be super patient though. There were weeks when it felt like nothing was happening at all. But over time, the weight came off and I started building muscle. I felt clearer, lighter, and stronger. Eventually, I found myself creating routines and habits that stuck with me. For breakfast, I'd have things like eggs, veggies, maybe some avocado. Real food that I knew that was fueling my body. Lunches and dinners became simple but nutritious. Think lean meat, sweet potatoes, and a variety of colorful veggies. And I wasn't afraid to get creative with seasoning. I used a lot of garlic, herbs, and even lime juice to keep things interesting. I also started using healthier alternatives for flavor, like coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. These small changes made a big difference. And I felt like I was finally fueling my body instead of just feeding it. As I stuck with these habits, I started seeing exercise differently too. 
I was no longer just dragging myself to the gym out of guilt. I started training with purpose, focusing on building strength, endurance, and muscle, not just burning calories. And once it all clicked, I realized this wasn't just about looking good or fitting a certain image. It was about taking care of myself in the long term. It wasn't looking for quick fixes anymore. I was building a lifestyle. It was this consistent dedication to fitness and whole foods that really transformed how I felt about myself and my life. Over time, I developed a whole new relationship with food. I used to think I had to deprive myself to be healthy, but that is not it at all. Now I see food as fuel and I focus on things like balance and moderation. I'm all about nutrient dense whole foods like lean proteins, fresh vegetables, and healthy fats. I still have treats now and then, and cheat meals are definitely on the table, just within reason. And I've learned to listen to my body. When I'm craving something sweet, maybe that means I need a bit more fuel in my meals. It's less about strict dieting and more about knowing what makes me feel good. After years of training clients in the gym, having worked with young athletes to elderly men and women reach their fitness goals, I realized that fitness isn't about extreme or obsessing over calories. It's about building small sustainable habits that add up over time. I used to think that I had to be perfect or to follow some strict diet. But it's really just about finding the balance that works for you. Living healthy has become less about restriction and more about freedom. And trust me, when you get to that point, everything just feels easier. I'm sharing all this with you today because I know how hard it can be to feel stuck in old habits and to feel like you have no idea where to even start. I remember feeling overwhelmed, thinking I'd never get out of that cycle. But the truth is, change is possible. Those little steps start to build on each other, and before you know it, you've got a routine that feels natural. Now, to help that make that a little easier for you, I've put together a ebook called Unlock, where I share tips, goal setting, and build positive mindset around fitness. It's exactly the kind of resource I wish I had when I was starting out. If you're ready to take on an even deeper dive, I also created a five day quick start program. It's a free course that I put together that gives you a structured plan to get moving and sets you on the right path to start seeing progress in just five days. It's a great way to see what's possible with a little consistency and focus. At the end of the day, my goal isn't to help people get fit. It's to help them find that freedom and confidence that comes from taking control of their health. I know it can be daunting if you have no idea where to start, but I'm here to tell you it is doable. And I'm here to support you along the way, whether you're starting from scratch or just looking to break through a plateau. I'd love to help you on your journey. Remember, wherever you're starting from, you've got the power to rewrite your story. I'm here for you and I'm excited to see where your journey takes you. Let's make it happen. If this story resonates with you and you're ready to start making real changes, I'd love to help. Let's chat more about what's holding you back, what your goals are, and map out a plan to get you there. Just click the link in the description below to book a 30 minute call with me where we can talk one-on-one -on -one and dive into what will work best for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos to help you build a healthier, stronger version of yourself. And feel free to share your story. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Maybe share a story about a big wake-up call that you had or what you're currently working towards right now. I'll be reading and responding to as many as I can. Looking forward to hearing from you. And until next time, keep pushing forward.